Oh my. I was just testing the sound. I thought you were testing my patience. I do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me, where we cook up recipes from RecipesThatCrock.com, which is my wife's cooking blog that has over 400 recipes and a rising. And today is going to be a very fast recipe. This video should not take very long at all. So don't hold me up with the speech. Here we go. Green beans. We're making green beans. Now, we're not making green beans like, ho, 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 open the can and pour it in and put it in a microwave or in a pot. No, no. This is going to be a slow cooked green bean. It's very, very good. They're very, very tasty. And it's like, it's spring. So y'all are planting gardens, right? I know I'm not, but <laughs> we have a local market nearby, so we don't really, and, and we both, neither one have green thumbs. No. Um, I had a purple thumb once when I smashed it with a hammer. We go to our local market, and if we want fresh green beans, go to your local market and get a... Oh my. Get noisy and get a bag of fresh green beans. These are just a bag of, well, green beans. And they're already trimmed and everything. But you trimmed, can washed. Gar you could get the kind from the farmer's market or even they have fresh green beans. You already opened store. it for me. Yes. You really want me to get this video done, don't you? Yes. Well then, shh, 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 watch this. Take a bag of green beans. Tell them how big of a bag. It's about nine inches tall, <laughs> about six inches wide. It's a uh, family size. Oh, right there. 32 ounces, Three. also known as two pounds of <gasps> green beans. Maybe a pound and a half, what doesn't fall on your floor? <laughs> I don't know my own strength. <laughs> but you do that. You just put them in a pot just like that. Now, if you're buying them fresh and they haven't been trimmed, or you catch, or you one catch that, little stems like that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You need to wash. stems Those don't chew very good. Washed and trimmed. Washed and trimmed, sort of. <laughs> and after that, you take one can of drained. Oh no, no, you don't. After that, you take two cans, two boxes. Eight My cups. English is getting bad. <laughs> eight uh, cups. Eight cups. So sixty-four ounces. I don't know how many tablespoons that is, but do the math if you want to. Two things, two cartons of chicken broth. Right in there like that. Like that. Oh my gosh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there it was. And... Here we go. Two boxes of chicken broth. And then one jar, which is 15 ounces of pearl onions that you've drained. You don't need all the juice in there. You got plenty of juice with your broth. So after you've drained it, put them in there on top. Ooh, those onions smell good. Those onions smell good. <laughs> and then one bag unless you want to fry up your bacon and do whatever you want. We just grabbed a bag, uh, two and a half ounces of real bacon pieces. Not the bacon bits, get the real bacon pieces and put in there. That'll give it a good bacony flavor. Adds a little bit of salt. And then pepper. How much pepper, Mikey? I don't know. You know how my wife told me to do this? Add a bunch of salt, add a bunch of pepper. So I'm just gonna go crazy. Uh. Right there. That's enough pepper. And then that much salt. Now listen, you can salt this more later after it's cooked if you want. I just know, because we tried this recipe before, it's going to take a little salt. But it also has quite a bit. Oh my. So it I'm going to say that's about three tables or three teaspoons of salt. <laughs> Sounds good. If you do it like that, I counted it three. Chicken went, broth. I went one, two, three. Salt in it. Your chicken broth's so got salt bacon. in it. Your bacon's got salt in it. But that's the only source of salt. So I knew that from the last time I like my green beans a little salty. Mm -hmm. So I did that. Let me grab a spoon and mix up everything I got here. Get them beans down in the. Yeah, you're gonna want to stir. It'll cook down, but you're gonna want to stir it occasionally. Yeah. Just okay. Whenever. Now here's the thing. You want to cook this on, you said high? High, yeah. For 10 hours. The reason you want to cook it for a long time is because 
Well, let me get my fingers dirty here, but it's my house and I can. These green beans are hard because they haven't been sitting in any liquid. So, I mean, if you like your green beans chewy and hard, well, you're a weirdo. But on top of that, Michael. you want your green beans soft. I am... They can cook it less if they like it to not <clears throat> them not to be as soft. But traditionally, right. like the old-fashioned style, they're quite soft. Well, let's put it this way. My mama is a great cook. Always has been. But when it came to green beans... Now, if, if Dad ever did something in a garden, I can't remember if you ever did green beans or not, but she would have green beans brought to her from other people who had gardens. I didn't like them as much as I like canned green beans. I grew up with canned green beans. I like canned green beans because they're soft, like French style green beans. I love them. I could eat five or six cans all by myself. When I was a little kid, I would prefer green beans over eating anything else. Um, as I've got older, my tastes have changed, but I don't mind. In fact, I do like fresh green beans, but I still like them very soft, which is why I want them cooked for a very long time. So 10 hours on high and I've, let me move this crock pot and I will show you <clears throat> what green beans cooked for 10 hours. Oh, Ow. that's still plugged in. I just hit my head. And my wife just hit her head, so Sorry. we might be going to the emergency room, but we'll um. do it after this taping. We don't want to hold you guys up. So how many fingers am I holding up? Just, just <laughs> mess with my wife back here. So we'll take, woo! Look at the steam coming off of that puppy. And that is what they cook down to be. All the bacon, all the onion. That's perfect to take to potluck. Mm-hmm. I don't think I got the proper spoon to no. put this out, but. There we go, we got some onion in there. Look at that. Now, if you're gonna serve this, you put the whole bowl, but for some reason my wife got me this giant bowl to taste test this out. I'm gonna so. take a picture of it. Oh, done. she's gonna. All right. Well, <clears throat> let's see how we did. Let me get a little onion, a little nib of bacon, and a couple green beans. Now, you saw that it was boiling when I opened it up, so give me a moment whilst I cool this <laughs> off. Does that work? Honey, See, the, you're going to put Green Giant out of business. You can't make stuff like that. The first time I made it, he didn't like it because mm. it wasn't tender enough. They weren't tender, and it didn't have enough salt. It was kind of bland. So she worked the recipe, and that's perfect. That is, that is perfection right there. I would take that over canned green beans any day. The bacon does so much for it. If you had leftover ham, like if you did the holiday ham or something like that, you had leftover ham pieces, you could put that in there. Mm. And that took no time at all. Pardon me whilst I chew. That took no time at all to put together. Low or high and high and slow is the way you cook these. They'll cook down, they'll get very tender, they'll be very hot, all the flavors will mix together. It's very oniony with the pearl onions. Those are perfect. Good job, hun. Very Thanks. good job. I hope mine turn out just as good as yours. <laughs> we want to thank you guys again for watching us here on Cooking Chris's Dishes uh, here at youtube.com slash Mikey Good. And if you have not become a subscriber, hit that little red box that's somewhere around in here and it says subscribe and you'll become part of our little slow cooking family and you'll receive more information on more recipes that we put here all the time on the site as well as check out recipes that crock.com because well that's the whole reason we're here and if you would check us out also at Facebook at recipes that crock and at good old tunes with good old boy where we don't always just share these recipes but also music and some of the other fun things that the family does together so uh, again you keep watching and we will keep cooking and all will be well now leave me alone i've got a great big bowl of green beans to empty <laughs> <laughs>